Once upon a time, when my grandfather was a child running around the streets wearing breeches and a red cloak, a cloth belt, and a feather in his brimless hat. During festivals, children still dress like that. At that time, everything was different than now. On the street, people dress very differently today. Everything has changed and if someone dresses like before, it and number 39. S. Unimaginable. For example, seeing you change their union and number 39. S. Headquarters is truly momentous. The huge sign was carried in a majestic procession to the new house. The flag had a big boot embroidered on it and a two-headed hawk happily fluttering in the wind. The youngest workers carry a cup of wine for good luck and carry the altar. The red and white silk strips stuck to the boys and number 39. Sleeves fluttered, looking as happy as a festival. The old workers, their swords drawn, the tip of the sword stuck into a lemon. A very large choir opened the procession. The most beautiful musical instrument is a long stick, with a sickle attached and all kinds of bells and gongs hanging, vibrating into tunes that people casually call Turkish music. Grandfather called that musical instrument and quat, bird and quat. When people raised the stick and shook it, all the bells and gongs rang out with gold, silver, and bronze lights flashing in the sunlight, dazzling the eyes. Leading the procession is a clown, dressed in variegated clothes, with a mouth made of all kinds of fabric patched together. His face was smeared, and his head was covered with a cloth cap with music on it like the top of a sleigh. Wielding his wooden sword, intending to make a noise, but only making loud noises, the clown sneaked into the crowd as nimbly as an invisible body. Just like that, every street is as crowded as a wedge. People crowded together to go. Children collapsed into the gutter, swearing and cursing at each other. Dot. Onlookers crowded onto the stairs and windows. Some climbed onto the roof. It was sunny, but there were a few drops of rain that day. The audience did not feel uncomfortable because they thought, the fields needed water. Grandpa tells stories very skillfully. His storytelling style is suitable for even the youngest children. He said, climbed onto the platform where the sign hung and gave a speech in rhyme as if everything he said sounded poetic. But it and number 39, s almost like poetry. Three workers worked together to create rhymes, and before doing so, to make the poem good, they drank a full cup of wine mixed with sugar. When the speech ended, the audience from all directions shouted, and quat, bravo, and quat. Then the singing became even more deafening, the applause grew even louder, when a clown wearing patchy clothes appeared on the podium and began imitating the speaker. He makes great jokes. He drank mead from small cups and then threw the cups into the crowd. Thousands of hands raised up to catch the cup. Grandpa kept one because a friend found it and gave it to him. A sign wrapped in flowers was hung in front of the Union and number 39, S. New Headquarters. He concluded, even though he is old, he will never forget that happy festival. Although my grandfather had seen many magnificent processions in his long life, he never forgot that procession. Another story he often told us over and over was that there was a time when all the signs in the capital were taken off their hooks. When I was young, my grandfather once went with his parents to the capital to visit. That was the first time my grandfather went there. In the streets, merchants do business busily and almost every house has signs hanging up. Those signs, if not hung outside but displayed inside the house, 
would be no different from paintings. If we took it all down, we could decorate a whole lot of shops. On the Taylor and number 39, S shop sign, he painted all kinds of clothes. On the cigarette shop signs, people draw pictures of guys smoking huge cigars. There are pictures of pieces of butter, and pictures of embroidered collars. In short, enough items. Of course, anyone who does any profession should hang a sign about that profession. Grandpa said, just looking outside is enough to know who the people are in the house, that and number 39, s convenient and interesting. But right around the time my grandfather was in the capital, a strange thing happened about those signs. It was my grandfather who told us, and there was absolutely no intention of embellishing it at all, even though my mother didn't and hash 39. T believe it. My grandfather told it with a serious and excited look. The first night my grandfather slept in the capital, there was a fierce storm that no newspaper had ever mentioned. Never before had anyone seen such a storm. Lightning flashed across the sky. Thunder crackled endlessly. Rivers are overflowing. The passing storm toppled countless chimneys and twisted many church bells, and from that day until now, no one has rebuilt them. On the fire station there was an old sign. Storms were not spared. The sign was blown away by the wind all the way to the end of the street. Due to a miraculous coincidence, the wind blew the sign against a carpenter and number 39, S House. In a recent fire, he saved three people. So the fire station and number 39, S sign unexpectedly ended up right at the carpenter and number 39, S House. The barber and number 39, S bronze sign, shaped like a plate, was also blown up and shot onto the jury and number 39, S balcony. It and number 39, S cruel, because the juror and number 39, S closest friends often call her and quat, razor. And quat, she is very mean knowing many things about each person that the person himself does not know. A sign with a drawing of a mackerel came right at the house of a newspaper publisher. That guy is really stupid, because he shouldn't and hash 39. T be messing with a journalist. A black bordered sign hanging on the door of a small restaurant flew to show off on the door of a theater that no one had ever bothered to go in to see. So people read the ridiculous advertisement, and quat, fish soup, cabbage stuffed with meat and quat. People said that would attract the audience. A fur seller and number 39, S. Fox Pelt, an expensive sign, flew to the bell rope of a very serious young man and number 39, S. House, who had a habit of huddled in the streets like an umbrella, according to people. Miss, he is a model young man. The sign, and quat, college and quat, was stuck right on the door of a coffee shop with a billiards table, and the school inherited the sign, and quat, here we accept nursing children. And quat, that night was truly a terrible night. Terrible. When morning comes, it and number 39, s amazing. It can be said that not a single sign remained in place, and in many cases the wind caused many funny scenes. My grandfather didn't and hash 39. T tell me everything, but I realized very clearly that when he mentioned that, he secretly left, and it was very possible that my grandfather had a secret thought at that time. Besides, that was also my grandfather and number 39, S habit. Many times my mother saw my grandfather smiling sarcastically and ventured to ask him what he was smiling at, but my grandfather always replied, You are still very young, son. 
You should remember that at that time my mother was already 35 years old. My grandfather continued. Finally, right after the big storm, pedestrians and especially people from far away, because they believed in the signs, kept mistaking one house for another. For example, there are people who want to attend a solemn meeting to discuss many important issues but mistakenly walk into a school where kids are jumping from one table to another. Some people even confuse church with theater. Today, thank God, there has not been another such strong storm. Only my grandfather witnessed such a storm, and that was during his childhood. Surely we will never see a storm like that in our lifetime. But we also hope that if our grandchildren encounter such a storm in the future, they will know to stay indoors during the storm. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.